हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यू ऑल टूडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज एक्सट्रैक्शन टेक्निक्स यूज इन द फील्ड ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल साइंसेस इन दिस टॉपिक आई विल डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सट्रैक्शन टेक्निक लिक्विड लिक्विड एक्सट्रैक्शन एक्सट्रैक्शन इन केमिस्ट्री इज अ सेपरेशन प्रोसेस कंसिस्टिंग इन द सेपरेशन ऑफ ए सबस्टांस फ्रॉम ए मैट्रिक्स here matrix refers to the components of a sample other than the analyte of interest so in extraction individual components can be separated by the use of various techniques for example by boiling tea and water mixture we can extract tannins theobromine and caffeine there are various types of extraction techniques such as liquid liquid extraction solid phase extraction acid base extraction supercritical fluid extraction heat reflux extraction mechanochemical assisted extraction maceration microwave assisted extraction and ultrasound assisted extraction etc but two main type of importance are liquid liquid extraction and solid phase extraction today we will try to understand liquid liquid extraction so principle of liquid liquid extraction is that a sample is distributed or partitioned between two immiscible liquids or phases in which the compound matrix have different solubilities this suggests that distribution of a solute between the two phases is because of partition this is based on exactly how the analyte moves from the initial solvent into the extracting solvent most commonly used phases are aqueous and organic phase aqueous phase often is the denser or heavier one and organic phase is the lighter phase now distribution of the analyte which is generally mixture of components depends on the fact that more polar hydrophilic compounds prefer the aqueous phase and more non polar compounds prefer the organic phase we already learned that liquid liquid extraction of components depends on the partition phenomenon partition generally happens in between two immiscible solvents now in theory of liquid liquid extraction terms like distribution coefficient and distribution ratio can be used to define the distribution or partition of compound distribution coefficient or partition coefficient is the ratio of concentrations of a compound in a mixture of two immiscible solvents at equilibrium to understand this we will consider an example of a imaginary compound x now in case of this compound x equilibrium can be achieved by shaking the aqueous phase containing the compound x with hexane hexane is a organic phase after equilibrium condition the net result of all the external forces and movements acting on this object will be zero the process can be written as equation number 2.1 which is this one this equation denotes that at equilibrium condition the distribution process of the x in between aqueous and organic phase will be complete and maximum concentration will be divided now the ratio of activities of x in two solvent is constant and can be represented by the equation 2.2 which is kd is equal to molar concentration of x in organic phase divided by molar concentration of x in aqueous phase where kd is the distribution coefficient a more useful expression is the fraction of compound extracted often expressed as a percentage 
So compound extracted E is equal to CO into VO divided by CO into VO plus CAQ into VAQ. This is equation number 2.3. In this equation, CO and CAQ are the concentrations of the compound in the organic and aqueous phases respectively. VO and VAQ are the volumes of the organic and aqueous phases respectively. And V is the phase ratio which is VO upon VAQ. In order to get good extraction yield, extraction can be repeated to 2 to 3 times. And following equation can be used to determine the amount of compound extracted after successive multiple extractions. This is equation number 2.5. In this equation, n is the number of extractions. Now there can be a situation where the actual chemical form of the compound in the aqueous and organic phases is unknown. In that case, distribution ratio is used. Distribution ratio is the ratio of the concentration of all the species of the solute in each phase. In practical application condition, when we are concerned with the fraction of the total solute present in one or other phase, it is convenient to use distribution ratio. Distribution ratio D is equal to Concentration of X in all chemical forms in the organic phase divided by concentration of X in all chemical forms in the aqueous solvent. For simple systems, when no chemical dissociation occurs, the distribution ratio is identical to the distribution coefficient. Next is selection of solvents for liquid-liquid extraction. Selection of solvent for liquid-liquid extraction depends on the choice of the two immiscible solvents. Often the organic solvent is chosen because of its low solubility in the aqueous phase. If it is less than 10%, we can expect good extraction. Organic solvent having high volatility tend to evaporate during the concentration stage which saves time. Other conditions include Purity of solvent Organic solvent used in the extraction process should be pure in nature. Besides these, compatibility of the solvent with the choice of chromatographic technique is also an important condition for the choice of solvent. solvent extraction. There are two distinct approaches for liquid-liquid extraction. First approach is discontinuous liquid-liquid extraction and second approach is continuous liquid-liquid extraction. In discontinuous liquid-liquid extraction, equilibrium is established between two immiscible phases and in continuous liquid-liquid extraction, equilibrium may not be reached. In discontinuous extraction, the most common approach uses a separating funnel. Here in this diagram, you can see a separating funnel with a stopcock knob and a glass stopper. In this separating funnel, lower layer of the solvent can be controlled by opening or closing the knob. In the extraction process, first of all, the aqueous sample around 1 liter at a specified pH is introduced into a large separating funnel having 2 liter capacity and 60 ml of a suitable organic solvent, for example, dichloromethane can be added. After placing the stopcock, the separating funnel is shaken manually. Then the separating funnel is inverted upside down approximately 5 to 6 times. 
different types of aqueous and water immiscible organic solvents can be used in different combinations few of them are as follows for example in case of water as an aqueous solvent we can use hexane isoctane petroleum ether or any other aliphatic hydrocarbon as an organic solvent in case of acidic solution we can use diethyl ether basic solution dichloromethane and in case of complexing agents we can use ethyl acetate as an organic solvent the process of extraction can also be automated by using a mechanical bed shaker use of which allows efficient partitioning and better separation after a suitable resting period which is approximately 5 minute the organic solvent can be collected by opening the stop cock and carefully running out the lower phase and then quantitatively transferring it to a volumetric flask again fresh organic solvent can be added and the process can be repeated again in some cases where the kinetics of the extraction process are slow fresh organic solvent is boiled condensed and allocated to percolate repetitively through the compound containing aqueous sample after completion of the extraction process solution is allowed sufficient cooling time and then boiling flask is detached and solvent evaporation can be performed applications of liquid liquid extraction liquid liquid extraction is an important separation method which is widely used in research and chemical analysis commercially it is used in the chemical and mining industries and in the downstream recovery of fermentation products such as antibiotics amino acids and steroids liquid liquid extraction is the classical method used for herbicide isolation especially from water and biological fluid samples following are the references of this topic thank you